Let's review how to log in and log out of Leap. If you remember from the last video, Leap is the Polaris web-based application. To access Leap, you'll need a computer, tablet, or other device with an internet connection and a Polaris login. Open an internet browser. Chrome is the recommended browser to use with Leap. Navigate to the Leap URL. If you're training, make sure you're using the training version of Leap. The training Leap URL is posted below. Notice how it has training in the address. This tells us that we'll be logging in to the training version. Enter your username and password. Each username is unique and we'll begin with your library's three letter code. Next, type in your password and click sign in. If you mistype your username or password, you will see an invalid login message. Leap will allow up to 10 incorrect login attempts before temporarily locking the username for 30 minutes. Next, you'll be prompted to select a branch and workstation. If part of a multi-branch library or have a pickup location branch, use the branch drop-down menu to select your current location. Then select the appropriate workstation from the workstation drop-down menu. Multiple staff can use the same workstation at the same time. An important thing to know about workstations is that they share some settings, the most notable one being printing options. For example, one workstation can be set up to print both checkout receipts and hold slips, while a second workstation only prints hold slips. If you are unsure about which workstation to use, check in with your manager or your IT staff. Click continue to finish logging in. This is where you'll see an alert letting you know if you're logging into Training Leap or Production Leap. Our alert tells us we're logging into Training Leap. It also lets us know when the data in Training Leap was last synced up with production. Typically, when working in Training Leap, staff will be working with outdated data. Okay, you're in. You can now search for records using the quick search box or find tool, check in items, register new patrons, and more. Let's try logging out now. Before ending your Leap session, you'll want to make sure you've saved any changes you've made and close out of any open records. If you've been carefully updating a patron record, you for sure don't want to lose your work. Once that's complete, click on your username in the upper right hand corner to locate the logout option and then confirm your logout. Let's see this in Leap. Click on the username in the upper right corner. A drop down menu will open where you can select the logout option. Leap will remind you to save your work and close out any records as well. Click continue to confirm. You are now logged out of Leap and are ready for the next staff member to come log in. This has been a short overview of how to log in and log out of Leap. If you have any questions, please email help at ccslib.org.